long time no see. Hello. I missed you all dearly. I hope everyone's been well. I'm coming at you currently on December 29th at 10.55. PM. I have not picked up the vlog camera since Christmas Day and I have missed you so much. I have pretty much zero things to update you on because all I've been doing is just sleeping in and resting and watching movies and that's about it to be honest. Updates, I did also wash all my makeup brushes. They are all nice and clean. I did that. I have not put a single piece of Christmas decor away and I probably won't until the new year. No, I definitely won't until the new year, but I missed you guys. It felt weird to take any time time off from vlogmas like after vlogmas is over it felt weird to not vlog and then also right now it feels weird to vlog but i'm not gonna take a big break after vlogmas because i don't want to and hello i just got back actually from doing my first plants my first time of leaving the house since vlogmas ended i am a little bit sweaty so let me do a little touch oh actually i look horrible a little touch up i am gonna take my makeup off like right now but before I do that, I'll do a little touch up for the vlog, a little one size powder right on here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. If you're not using this powder, you are doing it wrong. Okay, a little powder, a little touch up, a little lash curl, zhuzh them up again. There we go. And a little lip touch up, just to vlog for you guys. I think I'm actually gonna make TikToks as well. It's late, but I've got ample energy. I just got home from seeing one of my friends who if you guys have been around for a while, and when I say a while, I mean a while, then you may know. I didn't want to vlog with her because I haven't seen her in five years and I didn't want to just shove a camera in her face for the first time and seeing her in five years. But if you guys have been around on my channel since the beginning of time, like literally my first vlogs ever, which are not even up anymore. But if you've been watching me since 2013, then you guys remember my friend Jen from high school. She was in my first vlogs ever. She was always my friend also that was so encouraging and supportive always and was just always the best and just always so supportive of me. I saw her tonight. We obviously were like best friends in high school and then I haven't seen her in quite a few years. I saw her five years ago, right before she moved to a different state and right when I started dating Cal essentially. I had literally just met Cal and then I saw her tonight and we spent the whole day together. We went and saw the new Sydney Sweeney movie, we went shopping all day, we got dinner and just like spent time together, which we haven't in so long and it was so fun. And it was like one of those, you know, one of those friendships that you don't see someone for so long, but it felt like we were back in high school, like as soon as I saw her. So that was so much fun and I just got home and I thought because I had the energy I would do a little haul of the stuff that I got tonight so let's get into that actually I feel like I do have stuff to update you guys on Cal's parents went home yesterday I had the best Christmas ever with my family with Cal's family we also did like karaoke with Cal's family while he was here and we did Korean barbecue and for the first time ever in our relationship I truly felt like they are my new family hello I am so sorry my queen <laughs> Wait, say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. He's currently drunk because it's his brother's birthday today and they are playing video games and drinking beer downstairs. Anyways, for the first time ever in my relationship with Cal, I've always loved his family. They've always welcomed me in like their own, but I think just having the ring on my finger and actually marrying into the family, it felt like my family for the first time ever. Like Sam is now my brother or brother-in-law, but like, you know what I mean? Like being around my new family, it was like a really heartwarming moment. It also could have been the soju too. I was feeling really warm and excited, but yes, Cal's parents went home yesterday. Missed them so much. Cal's brother's still here. He's staying through the new year. So we've got some fun plans. So I'll catch you guys up when things are happening. But for now, I'm going to do my haul for you. I got some good stuff tonight. Okay, let me show you. I guess I'll start first with this bag. I bought this bag at Free People Movement. It's so cute. It's this like sling style bag where you could either wear it as like a fanny pack or you can zip this open and make it a full on backpack, which I thought this would be great for, I mean, hiking. Oh my God, this is so cute. Hiking, they had it in nude, they had it in like orange, they had purple, they had all the colors. And you guys know I love free people movement so much. I love their clothes, I love their accessories. And I actually specifically bought this one to go skiing with because I don't have a bag to go skiing with and I wanna keep my camera on me, my phone, water bottles are really important, some liquid IV. There's like a little pocket back here for a water bottle. So there's tons of compartments. I can put so much stuff inside. You can like open the sides and expand it if you want to put bigger stuff inside. And I just figured this would be perfect for the ski season because I plan on going back several times. So that's the first thing that I got. Okay, next up, there were so many Christmas sales or post Christmas sales going on. I got three of my favorite dresses 
ever. Oh, I just realized I'm literally wearing a Free People Movement tank top underneath this sweatshirt. That's how much I love them. Yes, I went to Nordstrom and I picked up some of these dresses. These are my favorite dresses to ever exist. I love them so much. I have so many colors. I have the black, I have the nude, I have the gray. They are the Skims Fits Everybody. I think it's a Fits Everybody slip dress, but I have the one with the spaghetti straps. I don't love that one as much. I always gravitate towards this long sleeve version though. And I didn't realize they came out with colors, which you guys know I'm a color wearing girly. Literally right now wearing this green. I found all of them in these gorgeous jewel tones. So I thought these would be perfect. These are the best dresses to throw on. If you are wanting to be comfortable and casual, but look like you're more dressed up, you could just throw on some cute little jewelry, a cute little bag, call it a night. You look so put together and you literally didn't try it all. They're just like the really stretchy long sleeve dresses. So I got this pretty emerald green color. I also got the royal blue, which you guys know I love royal blue. And then I also got the red because I've been more into wearing red this season. And I thought this was really pretty. So I know I'm gonna wear these all the time. These are great for podcasting in because I'm really comfortable or going out to dinners or anything like that. So super, super cute. I got these three colors that I cannot wait to wear. I'm actually going to a holiday dinner tomorrow and I might wear one of those. I haven't decided. Next up, I went to Aritzia and I bought one thing there that was on sale. I think it was 25% off. I've been wanting this for a really long time, but I was waiting for it to go on sale and they had one left in stock today in my size and it was 25% off. They had like a whole sale throughout the entire store here. Let me show you. It's just so cute. Here it was, yes, 25% off. And it's this really cute zip up heavyweight cardigan jacket situation. Let me zip her up and you can see. Truly, I've been wanting this for like six months. You can ask Ollie. I tried it on in the store forever ago, but I could not justify the price. And then when I saw it was on sale and they had one left, I was like, this is my time. It's just so cute. It's kind of that like preppy. It feels so preppy in here. And it's really nice and well-made. I love the stripes. Really pretty heavyweight cardigan. I love like the splits in the side. It's just nice zip up jacket. It's really thick. I thought this was so cute to like wear like that. Or, you know, you could drape it over your shoulders, wear it like this. If I was going to perhaps a, a nice boating event, perhaps. Just kidding, that vibe doesn't look good on me, but I thought that was really cute and I've been wanting it just to wear like as a normal jacket. I wore it in the store. I tried it on with my black leggings and my Uggs and I just thought it was really cute. So I got that. I've been wanting that forever. I also went to Sephora and I picked up quite a few things. I got some restocks and then I also got some exciting new stuff. First up, I just got a refresh of my Touchland hand sanitizers. This is the Glow Mist. This is the uh, rose water one. I don't know. It came with two. I got it at the little end cap. Like, you know, when you're waiting to check out, those little things always get me. But I love their hand sanitizers. I keep them in my purse. I go through them super quickly. So I got a refresh of these. I've yet to try the rose water set. But these are great to keep in the car, in your purse, on your vanity. So you sanitize your hands before you do your makeup. Oh, the rose water is nice. Very soft. So I got these guys right here. I'll disperse them amongst my my purse and my vanity, I guess, right here. Then I got a new eyelash curler. I like to keep these literally everywhere. Those little baby ones, if you guys remember the Hello Kitty ones I got from Japan, broke on me. So I wanted to get a new one to stick in my purse, in my car, everywhere, because I'm always like recurling my lashes. This is the Shiseido one. I got that little end cap. I also picked up this little sunscreen that I also wanna keep in my purse. This is just like a little baby Paula's Choice SPF 50. I wanna keep this so I can apply it to my hands when I'm driving or, you know, on my face if I'm out and about and I forgot to put some on because that's very important. I need to make a little pile of things to put in my purse and car. Cute. Then I also got a backup of my favorite liquid eyeliner ever. This is the one size by Patrick Star in Bodacious Black. I love it so much and I'm on my last one. So I wanted to replenish that because when those go, I am not happy. I also got a little baby of my favorite Makeup Forever primer. This is the Shine Control Primer. It is fantastic if you are an oily girl like me. So I grabbed this to put into my little like travel makeup kit if I'm ever traveling or a lot of times I do my makeup in the car. So I figured this would be perfect to keep to bring along with me. So I'm not bringing the big one everywhere. And then I picked up a couple new perfumes because we all know I've been very into perfumes and I've never tried anything from this brand, but these are from Clean Reserve and these are clean formulas, which really intrigued me. So let me open them up and I'll show you. I also got a little roller ball of one of them to keep with me on the go. All right, I opened them up. They're so beautiful. I love the packaging. I love the little like wood tops. And again, both of these are clean fragrances. So this is the Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar and it just smells like very fresh, very clean. Honestly, it's like a really 
really nice one after you just take a shower, like just very light and fresh. And then this one is actually a water-based perfume, which I don't own anything like that before. I'm curious to see if the scent like wears off really quickly. I'm gonna definitely try it out, but I love the scent. This is Nectarine Petal and it just smells like straight up like nectarines, just like straight, beautiful, fruity. Mmm, it smells so good. Here's the thing. I'm not a musky girl. I'm not a woodsy girl. I am straight like fruit and sweet through and through, especially fruit. So I loved this one. And I also got the little uh, rollerball situation, which I'm excited to try. And again, it being water-based, I'm not sure if the scent is going to go away within like seconds, but I wanted to keep this in my purse, have that to reapply and then try that out and see, but excited about that. And then the last thing I got from Sephora was the new Makeup by Mario Super Satin Lipsticks. These got me because on TikTok, I saw so much promo for them and I wanted to give them a try. So let's try her out, shall we? You guys know I'm a brownie nude kind of girly, but I saw this shade here is called Bronx Baby. I think that Mario said it's his favorite shade and the formula looks really nice. So I wanted to see, it's kind of like a pinky nude. It's a little bit more pinky than I'm used to, but I am curious to see what it looks like on me. Ooh, nice packaging, nice little magnetic moment. All right, here is the lipstick. Here is it swatched on my hand. And that's really pretty. Again, more pinky than I'm used to for sure. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, it's a very safe pinky nude color. I like it. I think it adds some nice life to the face. Again, normally I would go for way more of like a brown than this pinky. Oh, I really like it. It's really pretty. Okay, I got that lipstick. I love the formula. It's very soft and smooth. Also very pigmented. I really like it so far. And then last but not least, what I purchased at the mall, Jen and I actually got matching bags. We fell in love with this bag at Bloomingdale's and they had two in stock and we thought it was absolutely perfect because we loved them. So we got matching friendship bags. This bag is from a brand called Stodd, which this is my first purse from Stodd, but I love it so much. It's like a very nice, large, long shoulder bag, if you can see. But what I liked about this is a lot of my shoulder bags, if I'm wearing sweatshirts and things, don't sit comfortably. But this one fits great because not only does it have the loop on the top, it also loops down, basically creating this giant hole for, you know, I could be wearing a big jacket and still be able to wear this bag. And I think it's so cute. It's so spacious. It's so deep. I could put so much stuff in there and I love it. I'm very excited about my new purse. I think I'm going to wear it a lot considering I have like little cream boots. I can wear it in the spring. I can wear her in the summer. I can wear her all the time. So I'm very excited about this. And that was my mall haul. I did not mean to buy as much stuff that I did, but I'm very excited. There were so many good after Christmas sales. That is what I got. I am now going to go take my makeup off and probably go to bed very soon, but I will see you guys in the morning. Goodbye. Good morning, guys. It's a very quiet rainy morning i'm coming to you from rodeo it's the next morning it's like empty right now but it's so beautiful they still have all the christmas decor up it's all chilly and, and rainy outside i love it so much i am on my way to go to the japanese head spa i booked this literally at three in the morning i'm not even exaggerating because i had an opening up at 9 a.m so i'm here i'm gonna go let's hit it it's seriously like empty right now it's so pretty <gasps> cute boots oh my god one hour later and that was pure bliss, you guys. Hello, I just got back to the car. <gasps> That was amazing. I honestly feel so rested and relaxed. I basically just got like a scalp massage and cleaning for a full hour and it was so nice. I keep a hairbrush in my car because my hair is always tangled and it's perfect for right now because now I have wet hair. Oh my goodness, that was absolutely incredible. If you guys are ever in LA and you are looking to get a wonderful Japanese scalp massage situation, then I would come to Head Spa N in Beverly Hills with Sayuri. She's amazing. But yes, okay, I am now going to go back home. My sleep schedule has been all out of whack lately since the Vlogmas because I was so tired from, you know, staying up super late to edit the vlogs and then waking up super early to start the vlogs. So I was very sleep deprived. So lately I've just been sleeping so much, catching up on all my sleep because I wake up so late. I've been going to bed so late. So I didn't go to bed this morning till 3 a.m. So I am a little tired right now. But let's head home. I'm gonna stop at the grocery store to pick up some milk milk because we need some milk and I really want to make a coffee. So let's go do that with my wet hair. It feels so weird to vlog again. I missed you guys. Here we go. That looks so good. I want Cal's brother to experience what is an Air One breakfast burrito while he's here and hungover today. 
getting some eggs and some cream cheese also. Coming here on a cold morning with wet hair might have not been my best idea. I'm freezing right now. I also wanted to get some smoked salmon. I'm gonna make my own little bagels at home. So I got smoked salmon, cream cheese. Oh my God, it's so cold. And why is this out of focus? Help, it's too cold for this. I love this bread here. Oh my God, they have Pops bagels here. Absolutely. Gluten-free Pops bagels. This is the one that's been blowing up like crazy. I gotta try. Say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. Almost happy new year. Almost happy new year. I'm home. Look who's here. Hello. Look I who's look hung awful. over. <laughs> no, you are Canuck, baby. Thank you. All right, I'm making breakfast. This is my new breakfast obsession as of yesterday. I made a whole new batch of stuffing from Christmas because there were no leftovers and I really love stuffing. So I made a whole new batch with the leftover bread we had and I did the cranberry sausage sage stuffing and then I've been cooking it up with two eggs. Oh, she is steamy, but I crisp up the stuffing and then I crack the eggs inside and it is absolutely amazing. Oh, it's so good. And then over here, I'm about to make a Dutch baby and Cal's never had a Dutch baby. Never, Your never life even heard of it. is about to change. It's so good. I'm heating up the oven. If you've never tried a Dutch baby, it is so good. Plate, check. Check. This hoodie's so warm. It, it's like I a like blanket. So oh, so good. I got my hot coffee, I did a hot peppermint mocha. You got the crispy stuffing with the eggs and you dip it into the yolk. <gasps> Do you see that? Oh my God. It's kind of like toast because of the bread and the sausage and the cranberries are good. I got a lot of comments from people though on TikTok saying, you know, you can't say Alicia's gross for putting jam on her eggs and then eat cranberries with, with sunny side up eggs or over easy, which to a degree I understand, but it's more of a textural thing, the scrambled eggs and the jam. The cranberries I think are delicious, but I get it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm a fried egg girl through and through though. You can put a fried egg on anything and I think it's better. Scrambled eggs. Texturally, a little harder to, to make it good, I think. Absolutely phenomenal though. I love stuffing so much. I think I'd have to say stuffing is my favorite side dish. How about you, Cal? I love stuffing and mac and cheese. Mm hmm Yeah, mm. big fan. I also love your garlic bread. Oh. That's like the best thing ever. I'm so happy to hear that. Also guys, we didn't have any turkey leftovers from Christmas, so I bought a whole new turkey and it's thawing out and I'm gonna make a new turkey because I want turkey sandwiches and just turkey in general. So I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. Mm, so good. Okay, so growing up, my mom was a big fan of Dutch babies or German pancakes. I'm not sure if they're the same thing. I know they're like, they're very similar. So to make it, you need a blender. You need three eggs in a blender. You need half a cup of all-purpose flour. Hi, baby. Hi. You okay? I wanna watch. Okay. Half a cup of all-purpose flour. One tablespoon of sugar. One half cup of whole milk which we have a little bit of milk left from all the holiday cooking, so this is a great way to use it up. Half a cup of whole milk. <laughs> He's just observing. Hi. <laughs> Half a cup of whole milk, as well as a little bit of salt. And the oven is preheating to 425 degrees. A little pinch of salt, and then we blend her up till it's nice and combined. The oven has preheated. Now I'm gonna take in my cast iron skillet, my butter, and I'm gonna put in like four tablespoons of butter or so. Looks great. And we're gonna put this into the hot oven and let this melt. Also, side note, you guys are resting on a small business haul that came in a couple days ago. I wanted to have these for Christmas dinner, but they didn't come in till a couple days after Christmas, which I think just with like the holiday shipping, I ordered them a little too late. I tried to make them perfectly fresh and I messed up. Regardless, now I have about 30 macarons for myself. So I wanted to share them with you guys. These come from Kayla's Cakes, which I got an email and I believe the woman that owns this company, who I'm assuming her name is Kayla, her family member is a subscriber and asked me to share these with you guys and I just have to say they look fantastic. You can buy these online. I'll leave her link down below. I got an assortment because I was gonna put them out at Christmas dinner, but I got her a little box of, I think this is 24 of the most popular flavors. There's like Nutella, vanilla, I think there's pistachio, fruity pebble, looks like cookies and cream. All these amazing looking macarons, which I love macarons as you guys know, and I will definitely be putting these out. And then I saw this box and I 
I had to get this one as well. This is their specialty creme brulee flavor and they look absolutely to die for. Here they are. You know what I just realized? I need to give presents to my neighbors and I think I'll buy a new order of these and give these to them. I think they're gonna make a great little gift and these just look absolutely delicious. Oh my God, they have like a brulee top and I had to try it on camera. So here I go. Even though I'm about to eat a buttery delicious pancake, I have to eat one of these for you guys. Oh my God, the top is like nice and caramelized. Mmm. Oh my God. It's like a, a real brulee top. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my goodness. Delicious custardy flavor. Mmm. That was delicious. I will leave her link down below if you guys want to check out Kayla's cake. I'm going to place another order right now for my neighbors. Before then though, I believe the butter is almost melted. It needs like another 20 seconds and then we're going to pour our batter into the pan and then bake it in the oven for 20 minutes at 425. Delicious. Mm. Okay, Google, start a timer for 20 minutes. Oh my God, this is so much butter. It is time to remove our Dutch baby. Everyone be careful. <gasps> oh. Wow. Does that look any good? Does that look any good? That looks amazing. Ooh, she's a little thickums. All right, now you top it with either lemon juice. You can do lemon juice, lots of powdered sugar. You can do more butter. I'm just gonna do powdered sugar though. In this little contraption I have here. Ready, Shell? Yes. You scoop and then you twist and then you. Whoa. That's so fun. Isn't that amazing? Getting all over, like it's forming a cloud. <laughs> there we go. Dutch baby. Hello guys. Okay, it is much later. Breakfast was amazing. The Dutch baby was so good. It definitely was a little bit thick. I was following a TikTok recipe and it was delicious, but I think that I made too much batter for the size of Dutch oven that I used. So I'm gonna work on that, but it was so good. Sam and Cal and I crushed it. And then I honestly laid around all day. It's that week between Christmas and New Year where you don't know what day it is. You don't know what time it is. I really have not been leaving the house much, but tonight I'm really excited. We are getting ready because we are going to a dinner. We're doing our little Miss Remy Ashton holiday dinner. Brooke, Witt, and Ollie and I are gonna go to catch and I'm gonna treat everyone to dinner. It's gonna be super fun. We ended up having to do it after Christmas because Brooke went home early. So she's back and we're going out to dinner tonight and I wanna get really cute and dressed up. I'm considering wearing one of those Skims dresses that I got, but I also have some other options and I just, I wanna step out. I wanna look cute. Catch is this like fancy restaurant in LA that's like pretty sceny. So I wanna step up the fashion game, but I'm going to put some makeup on. Let's speed through this. I haven't, haven't sped through a makeup routine since Vlogmas, and let's get ready. slick back like high-ish bun. I copied the Sophia Richie tutorial for her bun and I think it actually looks cute. I wish uh, my part was showing more and I also definitely did it off center, but that's okay. We're just gonna leave the hair up. It feels nice out of the face. I'm just wearing this parallel tank top that I wear under everything and I'm choosing my outfit. I got these jeans from Good American because I saw them in Alicia's Vlogmas video and I thought they were so cute. I think they're perfect for New Year's Eve, which is technically tomorrow, but I have zero plans. So I was like, oh my God, fun. I think they're really cute. They're definitely a little bit baggy. Like I think I maybe should go down a size. Like at the top, I think I want them to be a little bit more fitted. And I will say all Good American jeans are always really long on me. And I'm so shocked they don't do like short, regular and long jeans yet at Good American because I mean, that would just be amazing. I think they're so cute though. They're definitely fun. I don't really own any like statement jeans like this, but I think I'm gonna exchange these. I'll go down a size and then I'll definitely have to get them tailored to actually fit my legs. But I think they're so cute. These are gonna be potentially an option. This is gonna be a no though. Let me go look in the other closet. I'll be back. Okay, I was 
debating between something like this and a like a trench outfit but I ended up going with this because it's very holiday I feel like I'm giving Martha May and you know my nights where I could wear something like this are fleeting as opposed to a trench so this is what I'm wearing tonight. It's just like an all little black outfit. It's gonna be a little bit chilly there, so I'm gonna wear my knee high boots. But this little uh, sweater cardigan fur situation is from House of CB. I think I got it last year. And what's cool is it's just like a little knit cardigan and then you can actually take the little fur cuffs and the collar off, but like, why would you? I love it, it's so cute. Underneath, I'm just wearing a long sleeve black bodysuit from Aritzia, again, cause it's kind of chilly out. And then I'm wearing this little black skirt that's also from House of CB. And then I just got some new boots that I'm really excited to break out. Let me put some socks on. I just made an order on Macy's and I got a bunch of boots there. One of which are these ones right here. I believe the like circumference was like 17 inches or something fabulous. If you're a wide calf lady like myself and I got these specifically because the ones that I have from Vince Camuto I love, but they're more of like a riding boot. These ones have a heel, which I think just make everything look a little bit more formal or dressy. And for something like tonight, I feel like I wanted to, you know, add a little bit of a heel. So here she is. Super easy to zip up on my wide calves. These are my first night. I'm breaking them out. I think they're so cute. And also I like that the heel is like a thin flat heel, if you can see, instead of like a point. So there's just a little bit more surface area so that, uh, you know, not all my weights on my heels and I'm really uncomfortable. I will link these down below for you guys if you're interested. This is not sponsored, but I do love me some Macy's and I think they're so cute. And then I was thinking I could either put the bow on, but I mean, this bow has not had a night off in all of Vlogmas. So I'm like, she, oh, it's just so cute for the holidays, but I do, I don't know. Oh, I think it's cute actually, let's do it. I was gonna give her a night off, but strap in girl, you're going out on the town. And I love a bow trend. I've loved bows since like middle school, truly. If you guys have watched me, you know. And then I do feel like I need like a nice like statement earring to really dress it up. I love my little Bottega dupes. Maybe I'll wear like the big ones tonight. Mm, too much with the bow. I just have like a bunch of different little baby hoops and different ones from Amazon. That's cute. Let me try these on and I'm gonna pick a bag out and then we need to do our perfume. Oh, this is so fun. I love getting ready. Little earrings are on, super cute. I'll link these down below on Amazon as well. And then for perfume, I'm gonna do this one from Fenty, which is more of like a musky, sensual scent, which I know, mm, literally yesterday I was like, I'm not a musky girl. I definitely don't gravitate towards them as much, but I do feel like with a look like this, I wanna do something a little bit more, you know, elevated and fancy. And then for the bag, I'm gonna wear this Fenty baguette that I bought when I was drunk in Vegas. And I think it matches perfectly with the silver and the black. I wanted to do a color bag. I have like a little blue. Bottega that I was going to wear, but I do think that this is more the vibe with the fur. Let the fur, fake fur, of course, do the talking. But that's the look. Let's head out and I'll show you guys us at dinner. Yay! We're at our little dinner. Everybody say hi. Happy New Year. Happy new Remy. Hi guys, just coming on to end the vlog. We had so much fun at dinner last night and then I came home and absolutely knocked out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited for all the new vlogs that I'm gonna be bringing you in 2024. I hope you're all having a wonderful start to your new year and I will see you in the next one. Bye.